city, oh so pretty. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm coming to you from Helena, Montana with the Beauty Fairy tag. I was tagged by Skylar over at, at Esthetician Beauty and I was also um, requested by the gal who made the tag, Ginger, or uh, Karen over at Ginger's Beauty Channel. Um, she kind of contacted me through comments and asked me if I would please do it for her and I have no problem doing that because I actually think this is a really cute tag and I I don't generally, I'm not really big on the whole tag thing, but if they're cute, they're cute. And, you know, this is this is one of those tags that you can tell everybody, um, this is what I wish. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, I am going, I've got my little laptop here, and I'm going to be reading right off of Karen's page uh, what the questions are, and let's go with it, okay? All right, question number one is, your beauty fairy says you can try a product that you've always wanted to try, but that it is out of your budget. What do you choose? Um, for me, that was kind of was kind of difficult, but it's all from one line, and that's the Sicily line of skincare. They've even got some makeup, um, but it was very difficult uh, <laughs> deciding which one of Sicily's products I would like to try. I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd even care. I, I, it doesn't even matter. Throw something from Sicily my way and I would be all over that like white on rice. But will I ever in my lifetime be able to afford it unless I get hit and run over by a Wells Fargo truck and end up winning all the money that's inside of it? <laughs> if I had, you know, unlimited resources, then yeah, I probably would. <laughs> but yeah, Sicily. And specifically, um, the Global Firming Serum. That is the one, the, if I had to narrow it down to one product from Sicily that I would try, it would be the Global Fir Firming Serum which is several hundred dollars, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Your beauty fairy has given you... Ooh, God, I don't know. See, can you see my chin from the side really bad here? Should I hold it up every time I go to read the question? I'm going to do that. Your beauty fairy has given you one luxury beauty product to have free for the rest of your life. What do you choose? <laughs> um, that actually was very easy for me, and I... Some people are probably rolling their eyes at this, but I don't care. It would be one of two things. My Feel the Moment Serum from IT Cosmetics or my Number 50 Serum, the primers. Either one of these products or both of them. I, I adore these. I use them every day. I got these. Absolutely these two products right here. Either or. I wouldn't even care which one. I love, love them both, and I've noticed a considerable difference in the texture of my skin since I've been using those, especially around um, my lip lines and under my eyes and my forehead wrinkles. Just, I mean, I'm sure it's got, you know, something to do with everything I've been doing, like that LED mask that I still do every night, but I, I just love them. They're, they're luxurious, they're gorgeous, and I love them. Okay? No, alrighty then. Number three. <laughs> what would be your three wishes for miracle products from the Beauty Fairy? I had to think about that. However, and I hope that these, well, of course they do, because this is what would make me feel beautiful, so it counts, right? My first one would be anything that would you could just put on your skin and it would eliminate stretch marks. Just boom. Not no, you know, instant gratification type of thing. And that's how I'm taking this question is, you know, what kind of instant grat thing would you you know, want, because we can all get, I mean, there are tons of things out there that you can purchase or go to a, a doctor and have lasered off, you know, or whatever, but for instant gratification, an over-the-counter product, stretch marks, absolutely. I look like a cat, several cats got a hold of me in heat. Um, when I got when I got pregnant with my first child, I gained 99 pounds, and I was an athlete. I mean, I was you know, firm and toned, and, and I gained 99 pounds, and I lost it all pretty quick, as a matter of fact, but, you know, that's really bad on your skin when you lose weight really quickly and gain it quickly, and, yeah, probably TMI. TMI, wait a minute, different tag. <laughs> Stretch mark cream. Um, secondly would be my teeth. Something that I could just grab out of my medicine cabinet, put it on my teeth, and they would be magically whole again, apart from what they have become from the damn lupus has just, 
you know. I mean, they're still, I still have them, and they're still in good condition. They're just turning gray, and no matter what I do, I'm, I can't keep them from discoloring. And so, that, yeah, something for my teeth. And preferably before I go dump a bunch of money getting porcelain caps put on them. Just for the record, Beauty Fairy. <laughs> and the third one would be hair growth. Um, absolutely. Something that, you know, if I noticed, uh, oh, that's getting a little thin there. <laughs> you know, and I got Chia Pet going on. That would be sweet for me because we all, anyone watching my videos knows my problem with hair loss. And so, yeah, that would be that. If I had $100 from the Beauty Fairy, what would I get? And that would be any of the prior Tarte Christmas collection. Specifically, the True Blood collection. You know, the, the palette um, kit that they had. And uh, what was that other Tarte of Giving uh, Christmas collection? I want that so bad. And I go on Amazon and eBay and I'll browse around everybody that's got it. And I think the cheapest that I've found it is around 90 bucks, but that is just way out of my range. My husband would slaughter me. He one of the prior Tarte uh, holiday collections. I had quite a few of them in the past. I've just. Usually they got, you know, destroyed by my kids or I give them away to somebody that liked them. I'm bad about that, you know. I'll have a girlfriend or something come over or my mom, you know, oh, this is pretty. Oh, you can have it. I mean, I'm just terrible about it. I, mean, I haven't, many times I don't even get to play with it myself. And if I show it to somebody and they express the kind of love that I have for it, all of a sudden I don't have it anymore and they do. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, the Tarte gift collections, the Big Thrill, Off the Cuff, um, I actually had that several times. That blush palette, we all know what Off the Cuff was. I had that several times, and every single damn time I gave it away to somebody. Anyways, the Beauty Fairy has given you a day at the spa. <laughs> what treatments do you choose? I have never been to a spa. Um, the closest thing I have ever come to a spa was Chico Hot Springs, up in the mountains, and it's... You know, it's a natural hot springs that mostly it's just kind of like the the hills have eyes go and hang out. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I've, I've never been to a spa. Okay. Massage and a mud bath. Now, I'm not sure if spas do this where they laser off the top layer of your skin, you know, and you look all like, like Sam did on Sex in the City was, I think the episode was... Um, plus one, the plus one episode, and Sam was supposed to come with Carrie because she didn't have a date, and she went and got some, she was going to get Botox, and the doctor talked her into getting a laser or something, and she was all burnt and red and messed up. I want that, but not all messed up. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that anyways. Anyways, okay, number six is, your beauty fairy is sending you back in time so you can give your younger self beauty advice, and what do you advice do you give her to give you? For me, that would be absolutely sunscreen. Up until even just a few years ago, I get um, Panama Jack or um, Tropicana makes one too. The suntan oils that have no sunscreen. They are purposely meant to bake your ass. And I, I have gotten them my whole life. Um, and, you know, I'll go out, do yard work, ride my four-wheelers up in the mountains all day. And just to get the best rays I can. Yeah, sunscreen. Okay, sunscreen. And and to be kinder to my hair. Been mean to my hair over the years. <laughs> Not so much in the last 10 or 15 years, but um, gosh, when I was, I went from virgin hair, it had never been cut, never colored, never nothing, virgin hair, and I discovered Billy Idol, and I fell in love, and I am still in love with that man to this day. The only blonde that I've ever found attractive. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a dark-haired kind of girl, man, you know, on my guys. I discovered Billy Idol, and with my virgin long locks past my butt, I cut them all off, this short, all over my head, myself, and I dyed my hair canary yellow, and I pierced everything <laughs> that I could pierce. Back then, you know, you didn't have all these piercing places, and, uh, and so having my eyebrow pierced and my nose pierced and my lip pierced, that was big, you know, that was... I was some kind of freak. <laughs> and I was a cheerleader and um, pep squad. And yeah, so that didn't fly too well with the rest of the girls. Anyways, uh, that would be. 
Number seven, the beauty fairy is giving me a new beauty skill from today forward. What would that be? For me personally, can, you know, because of my profession, that's kind of a hard one to answer actually, but nails. I, I love having my nails done, and I even like the process of doing them. I just hate doing them because, you know, when you're doing the... I actually get the little kits from Sally Beauty that you just brush the the um, add the stuff on your finger and then, you know, sprinkle the powder on top of it because I just cannot seem to get... You know, you dip your brush in the fluid and then you dip it in the powder and you put the little ball and spread it out. My little balls just... I got balls everywhere. <laughs> And they harden before I get them spread. And when I do get them spread, there's like a ball here and a ball here. And I just have never been able to do nails well. I wish I could do nails better. The Beauty Fairy says you can steal a facial feature from one of your favorite YouTubers. Do you accept it? And what would that be? Absolutely. I figure on the whole realm of the beauty thing, there, there are two things that I would absolutely run down and scalp them right off of their body if I could get away with it and it wouldn't hurt them and they would wake up from the trauma with that back on their body but me still have mine <laughs> that would be Lynette McGee's hair uh, my good friend Lynette over she's got a channel I will link her down below Lynette has the most gorgeous freaking hair and she, I've seen her wear it in braids and you know like two braids are like this thick each and I put all of my hair into one braid, and it's like a little bitty rat tail. I mean, I literally look like, you know, David Spade and Joe Dirt when he put his hair back in a braid. You know, it's just, I've got so little hair. Um, I just use really good products. For, but I, if Lox Love ever comes calling the net, you got to say, I got a buddy up in Montana. I'll give you some of this hair if you go sticking on her head. <laughs> That's my beauty fairy tag. I think everybody has pretty much done this, but I, so I am going to tag Lynette, of course. I've got to tag Lynette. She's she's my buddy here, you know. She's like my cyber bud. Um, so Lynette McGee, I tag you to do this tag. Anybody else that wants to do it, I think I'm like the last on the ball. Um, thank you so much, Skylar and Karen, for tagging me in this tag. And um, I would really, I would also like you to do my 4T tag. It is the you can look for it. I will put it down below, and also it's the banner that comes up in my videos for a few minutes, my in-video programming. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Stunning. And, 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 and